Gunfire, Fort Stevens, State Park, Oregon. Okay, that was a little too choppy. <laughs> Do you? I think so. <laughs> so the fort here originated in the Civil War and I think it was occupied up through World War II when it had the honor of being the only place on the continental U.S. that was ever fired upon. And it was fired upon by a Japanese submarine. But these are, these are pretty cool. I think it's really awesome that you can actually get up here and walk around on this thing. I mean, if you're going to have people shooting at you and shit, I guess this is a good place to be. Shit. I think I'm too old for that. So this fort was built to protect the mouth of the Columbia River from an ocean invasion. So in, ca in case there was any kind of invasion, keep it from going into the, up the Columbia River. And... Okay, that's a big ass gun there. But my question is, how do you see what you're shooting at? All right, I climbed up here on top of the gun and son of a gun, you actually can see what you're shooting at from up here. Got these cool little handy dandy thingies here. You can swivel your gun around. Bet that'd be a kick in the pants to shoot, eh? I'm gonna guess that at one time that was, I uh, had a cannon there and the doors opened up to shoot out through the wall. So down the stairs from the big gun I was just on, you come down here and you, you're down in the tunnels underneath. This is where they kept their ammunition. There's the magazine room. And over here is the shell room. Oops, and that's a dead end. I wonder what those racks on the ceiling were for, the rails. So this whole section is uh, closed off now. I think last time we were here, which was many, many years ago, these were, you could still access these buildings and go into them, but they've got them all closed off now. Probably due to deterioration, I'm guessing. Um, but Fort Stevens is now a 
um, it's a state park and it comprises several hundred acres now and there's camping out here there's day use areas there's a lake uh, there's hiking biking um, there's even uh, the wreck of the peter iredale is part of the state park and i uh, will put you a link right up here to that Can you just imagine this place with military personnel bustling all over it? Big ass guns blazing. Incoming shells from the submarines out in the river. Holy crap. How'd you like to be the poor damn fool who had to climb into that sucker to fire the guns? Beautiful historic house right there. This is um, probably some kind of officers' quarters from from Fort Stevens. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm gonna guess it. That one and this one both probably are. I love old houses though. So today we're going to have a gunfire. Um, this is a drink that originated with the British military and uh, what it is is black tea with a shot of rum in it. Um, and the, so the British military officers would sometimes when they were having a morning battle, they would, uh, they would serve this to their enlisted men just before a battle to give them a shot of Dutch courage. Uh, also, if they were deployed over Christmas, a lot of times the officers would serve this to their enlisted men in bed at Reveille, which I thought was kind of cool. You can also make it with uh, black coffee, but traditionally, since it's British, you know, black tea. So that's what we're going with. Whoop! <laughs> that was good. That's good. Oh, you want a stronger one? <laughs> I see. <laughs> Two to one is my theory. So, and we were in kind of a public area, so we had to hurry up and four while there's nobody here. So, toodaloo. Toodaloo. Is that what we're supposed to say when we do this? I don't know. It sounded very British. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose so, yeah. It's hot. Oh. Mm. That's it's actually good. pretty good. I really was not thinking that black tea and rum was going to be very good, but. But rum is always good. Needs a shot of uh, whipped cream on the top of this though. Ooh, yeah, but that changes the <laughs> name of it. What is the name of it? Did I say that? Yeah, you did, gunfire. Okay. okay, good. It's a gunfire. <laughs> oh, and hence the big gun in the background there. Oh yeah. You got big guns. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed uh, today's video showing you around Fort Stevens here in the, on the Oregon coast. And uh, if you enjoyed our video, we hope you'll give us a thumbs up and subscribe. <sighs> okay, it's not gunfire at the OK Corral, but it is a gunfire <laughs> at Fort Stevens. <laughs> 
on the way to being a good one, too. <laughs> I don't think anything stopped it from being good. Okay. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Not that. <sighs> so it's not a gunfire at the OK Corral, but it is a gunfire at Fort Stevens State Park in Oregon. Cheers.